Hi and welcome to EcoVault. In these series of videos we're going to show you how to set up the LCD programmer. Such features as the time, the temperature, the programming and other features associated with the programmer. Okay, when we power up the first thing we need to do is that we need to select which day of the week it is. Um, and the days are shown over here 1 to 7 which is Monday to Sunday and today is Friday so we need to select day 5 by pushing the plus cursor button here until we reach day 5 and then we press OK. After we've selected the day we need to then select the hour and this clock is a 24 hour clock so we need to select by pressing the plus or minus what hour of the day it is. Once that is done we press the OK button. Now we're on to the minutes and we need to select our minutes by pressing the plus or the minus button. Again when that is done we press OK and now the days of the week and the time is set and we simply just press the on off switch and that's it done. Okay, now that the time and date is set, we're now going to go in and uh, select our heating programs and our different heating mode temperatures. We simply just press this on off switch and then we press it once more again. And now we see our comfort heating zone. The factory settings at 19 degrees and we can either plus or minus this to suit our heating requirements. Once we do this, we press the mode button. Now we have our, our frost protection and again we can select by plus or minus whatever we require. After that we press mode again and we're onto our economy heating and we usually try and keep that about 4 to 5 degrees below our comfort heating setting. Once that is done we press mode again and again and switch off. Our next step now is to program the heater to come on and off at certain times during the day for seven days a week. We need to press this button here which says program and what is displayed is basically 0000, 000 equals 12 o'clock at night and on the right hand side here you'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and number one is Monday. So this is 12 o'clock at night on our first day of Monday. Next we'll see these two buttons here. These are our important buttons. This button here with the sun on it is our comfort button and this button with the moon on it is our economy button. These two buttons represent our heating times and our heating zones. Each time one of these buttons is pressed, it represents one hour of the day. So I want to set up a heating zone for my heating to come on at seven o'clock in the morning and to go off at nine o'clock in the morning. I would need to press this button, which is my background heating, the symbol shown with the moon, up until seven o'clock. And I press it up until seven o'clock, you see the time changing. Next, I want to press this sun button for two hours, so I press it twice. My next heating time would be that I want the heating to come back on at five o'clock in the evening, so I need to press the moon button up until five o'clock. I want now the heating to come back on from five o'clock until nine o'clock, so I now need to press the sun button up until nine o'clock. Now I have selected my heating program for the day, day one and I'm gonna have the heating come on at seven o'clock until nine o'clock and from five o'clock until nine o'clock. If you make a mistake and you select an extra hour like so, you have to go back and repeat the process again. Now that we've selected our heating program, we need to now save it. 
and we save it by pressing the OK button here. Now, if we want to save this program for seven days of the week, we need to copy. And to copy, we press and hold the OK button for three seconds. You will notice on the right hand side, the cursor coming down to day two. And day two is now the same as day one. So Monday and Tuesday is the same. If we want Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday to be the same, we need to press and hold OK for three seconds and releasing it and press it again. You will notice the cursor changing on the days of the week. So Saturday and Sunday is now the same. Once that's done, our program is complete. If we want to select different times for the Saturday and the Sunday, we would need to, when we get to day five, we press OK and we're on day six. We then need to select, select our program for day six, which is Saturday. And we go back to the process of step one of selecting our times. And if I want to say, put my heating on a bit later on the Saturday, I would do this by pressing the buttons. So now I've selected that the heating's gonna come on at nine o'clock and go off at 11. And instead of switching off at nine o'clock, we'll switch it off at 11 o'clock. To save that, you just press OK. And again, we've pressed and held OK for Sunday. Now I'm gonna show you some of the features associated with the keypad. The boost facility, the holiday mode, and how to lock the keypad. So now I'm gonna show you the boost facility, which allows you to boost the heater when it's out of program hours. We press this button here that looks like an egg timer. We press it once, and on the screen displays a temperature. This is the temperature that we want in the room. And we can plus that up to the setting or the temperature that we want and press OK. Next we see this on the screen and this is 30 minutes. So we can set our boost for 30 minute segments by pressing plus or minus. Now I've set this boost for two hours. I press OK, the heater comes on and that's it set. She starts a count back and after two hours, she switches off. Now I'm gonna show you another feature on the heater. It's the holiday mode or absence mode. We simply press the suitcase button here, which is the third button in. When we press this, the number one appears. This is the days of the week and we can select how many days we're away for. We can go from one right up to 365. So this sample I'm showing is that I'm away for two weeks, so I select 14. After I selected 14, I press OK, and that is set. The radiator or the heater is now into absence mode. When the 14 days have expired, the heater will automatically set back into our automatic program. Now I'm gonna show you how to lock the keypad from children and other troublemakers. To lock the keypad, we need to press these two buttons here at the exact same time. If we don't press them at the exact same time, and I've done this, we would actually either go into this absence mode or the program mode. And I'll show you a sample now. I'm gonna try and press these two buttons at the same time, but deliberately press this one on purpose. Now I have this. I, don't, I need to get out of that screen, so I just press okay. I'm now back to my screen that I want. I need to try and press these two buttons at the exact same time. I'm deliberately gonna press this one now on purpose and it'll show you what happens. It's now gone into our program screen. I don't want that. I now need to get out of this and to do that, we just press the on off switch. We press it again and we press mode three times. 
We're now back into our screen that we want to lock. Now I'll attempt it again and this time press them at the same time and holding it down for about six seconds. There's the key. We're now locked. Can't press any button now or change any program because the keypad is locked. To get out of this, we have to press the same two buttons again at the same time and hold them down. The key symbol appears and then the automatic screen appears. Release and now we can change.